and all right welcome to uh, kingfisher outdoors i'm with my other niece caroline and today we're going to do a quick little tutorial on uh, knife safety now i got a question for caroline uh have, when was the last time you used a knife Seconds ago. <laughs> okay, before today, when was the last time you used one? Never. Never. Now, I know sometimes the microphone on that is, needs to come closer so we can hear. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over some main uh, main points of safety. I'm not going to hit every one of them. I'm just going to hit the main ones uh, just for a short little quick tutorial. Now, uh, Caroline, if you would, grab one of these pencils. Yeah. All right. And we're going to go through the first step. The first thing every kid should know um, when they're handling a knife is they need to do a check called a blood circle check. So, so on the blood circle check, you're going to take this and do a complete 360 all the way around you. Make sure no one is in the circle. Is anyone in the circle? No. No, you're doing good. All right. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, always remember what direction should we take, uh, should we cut with the knife. Which direction should we always cut with a knife? Away from yourself. Or away from yourself. What happens if you cut uh, towards yourself? You'll cut your butt. You not maybe you won't, but it, you could. If you slip, you could cut yourself. Okay, good. And the uh, the last concept on knife safety is called the triangle of death. I got all these from the Boy Scouts when I was in the uh, Cub Scouts a long time ago. I never made it to Weebo. <laughs> but I loved the Cub Scouts. It was fun. But that was one of the things we did on knife safety. So the last thing is the triangle of death and so the triangle of death uh, come out here Caroline so she can see triangle of death is a triangle that the points are on each knee and your belly button so it goes here here and here and inside that triangle is a lot of uh, blood vessels and um, a, a lot of, th of things that if you cut it hard with a knife you could you could bleed and uh, very badly and you don't want to do that do you you don't want to do that. All right, so um, what happens sometimes is when you're in the woods and you come over and you're, you're sitting down in a chair or on the log and you want to bear down and cut something, you might think, man, I'm just going to put it right here. I'm just going to cut right here. Well, if you slip, what happens? You'll cut yourself. You could cut yourself, and if you get inside the triangle of death, you could cut yourself very badly, and you might need an ambulance, and you don't want that, right? All right, so sit down on there and show me how you would cut... Yeah, sit down and then show me how you would cut without cutting the triangle of death. Yeah, sit down on the on the cooler. All right, good. Okay, you cutting your you cutting away. Good. Did you do your check? <laughs> but no one's in your circle. Okay, good. All right, now come on over here and um, Ella, you can come over here too, and I'm going to give you your first cutting assignment. Are y'all ready? Yes. So pick any knife you want, and I want you to pick one of these pencils and sharpen this pencil. Okay. How do you sharpen it? Okay, so that's a good question. So <laughs> what I would do is, here's how I do it. I hold it like this close to the end, and I use my thumb, and I want to write with this pencil, right? Mm -hmm. So i got to cut all the wood away and make myself a little tip. Okay, you think you can try that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, make sure you're following all three of the things I told you. Are you inside my circle, my blood circle? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are, aren't you? Okay. All right. So y'all ready? All right. So we're going to get get some a uh, little, a few shots of y'all trying that and seeing if you're following the rules. Okay. I'll move out of the way. How do you okay. open this? Okay. Let me, is it, yeah. Do you want to use this one? Yeah. All right. You got the one you want, Ella? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Please. Tell me anything I'm doing wrong. Okay. Um, just, just yeah. Just start cutting. Yeah. Alright, you can go ahead. You can go ahead too, Ella. Sharpen yours. Okay. Are you being careful with your fingers there? Me? Yes. I feel like they're really close. Yeah. You're using that finger choil correctly. I just didn't know if you were... I think I sharpened mine too much. Okay, can you write with it? Yeah. No. Can I <laughs> test mine out? Oh. Yeah, write, uh, write something on the table. 
Uh, use your liner lock over there. Over here. And now, Caroline, remember, you want that knife blade to go away from you, not towards you ever. And close it. I'm going to go raise something on the table. Hey, it works. Okay, how'd you do, Ella? I mean, uh, Caroline? Okay, I'm going to see what I can do. I like how you're holding it away from yourself while it's open, Caroline. All right, for everyone watching, this is the Ganzo uh, G742. This is one of my favorite pocket knives. Watch out. All are right. you inside are your blood circle? blood circle? You are inside the blood circle. Caroline, do you want to hold that knife down while you're walking around? Yeah. Point down. Point down. Point down, good. Okay. What did you write on the table, uh, I don't know. Ella? I just wrote mine. Well, this might be this. Okay. You ready? All right, so hand me the knife properly, and then we'll make sure we do this.